Let's talk about the negatives then, um, before we get on to the full and positives that um, Scott Parker was referring to. This is, this is Tony Khan, who's the director of football and son of the owner, tweeting after the game, I apologise to Fulham supporters for our performance tonight. I remember you guys were both talking about the defensive um, susceptibility of, of Fulham throughout that game. We've looked to add centre-backs since Wembley, since the playoff final, which was just five weeks before the start of this season. He says, I'm sorry we haven't yet, as two got covid uh, we lost a free we thought was close and had another issue with the fourth centre-back. I promise players and better efforts from this squad. He was then challenged about um, whether that meant he was now looking for his fifth choice centre-back by an, a, another fan on, on Twitter, I presume. And his response, Tony Khan, was to say either we go for the fifth choice or we wait for the one, uh, one of the others to recover from Covid. What do you make of that? Just a clown. I mean, getting involved in that. I mean, that, that, that it was a, a really poor performance. I mean, it, it was that bad. We were actually laughing at some of the defending. I mean, Fulham are, Fulham are going down. I've never been more certain about anything in my life. And they need to buy at least two, maybe three, four defenders. But for... Is, it, is he the owner or the CEO? That's, that's the director of football who's the son of the owner. I mean, he's, he's, he's trying, to, en he's trying so to engage with fans, isn't he? Yes. It? It, it so what's, what's wrong with that? that? It, no, it never works. It always ends up in, in tears. What does Scott Parker think about that? What do those lads are playing at the back think about that? Who've maybe got to play midweek, got to play at the weekend? Just keep your mouth shut. I mean, was he involved a couple of years ago when yes. they bought all these players? Exactly. So he was the one who was buying players a couple of years ago and made a right mess of that. Just shut your mouth, get on with it, keep your head down. It's difficult for them at the moment. They're going to have a tough season. As I've just said before, I, I don't think... I, I'm more certain of Fulham going down than Liverpool winning the league. You're but ready I, to write Fulham off after oh, three games? What we saw there defensively was unbelievable. Fulham were actually fortunate that was another game after them, that we didn't properly analyse the goals. I mean, what we saw from Dennis Adoy was, I mean, it's, it was unbelievable, really, what we saw in terms of, of the goals. But, but that doesn't help. That does not help at all. And they were a mess last time they came up. What they don't want to be this year is a mess. They're going to go down, but almost go down together, be a club, be, stick together. I know people may say... You talk really about close. engaging with supporters, but that's, you shouldn't be discussing club's business or your transfer targets. That's nobody's it's business. He's trying to offer crumbs of comfort, isn't he? Yeah, not, but fans? not after... No, well, you got beaten between the home. Just, just, you know, take your medicine and, and, and look at things over the next few days. But, um, no, bizarre. Did you see the positives that, that Scott Parker was referring to? No. I, he must have been watching a different game to me. <laughs>